observer pattern from the name it seems someone is observing something well that's exactly what we are trying to achieve with this pattern suppose a new newspaper publisher comes into business you are interested in this paper and you subscribe to the newspaper the newspaper gets delivered to you as long as you are subscribed to the paper after a while you are no more interested in the newspaper so you unsubscribe from the publisher since you unsubscribed the newspaper is no more delivered to you so in an observer pattern we have an object which is managing some data which is called the subject object and we have a group of objects called observers which get notified whenever there is a change in the state of this subject and the number of observers can increase or decrease with time suppose that one of the observer deregisters itself from the observer list in that case it will not receive any notification on the change of the subject object going forward so basically observer pattern defines a one to many relationship between a set of objects in which when state of one object is changed all the dependent objects are notified so in the observer pattern we have two interfaces the subject interface and the observer interface in the subject interface we have methods like register observer remove observer and notify observer these methods are used whenever we want to add a new observer to the observer list whenever we want to remove a particular observer from the list of observers and notify observers is used whenever we want to notify all the observers about the change in state of the subject object and similarly we have a update method in the observer interface which gets called by the notify observer methods and in which the change state or the updated state is passed to the list of observers and for each observer the update method is called and the updated values of the state are passed so as to send the update of state of the subject to each and every observer here is a more concrete view of the interfaces so you can see that the subject interface has the registered observer method which takes an observer object as an argument similarly the remove observer method also takes an observer or object as an argument and we have the notify observers method as well similarly in the observer interface we have the update method and we can pass whatever state of the subject object that we want to pass to all the observers it should be common for all the observers whatever state values of the subject object that we want to pass we can add it to the signature of the update method now suppose we have been asked to design a solution for a weather station where we have the weather data object which has properties like humidity temperature pressure and the corresponding getter methods like get humidity get temperature get pressure and it has a measurement change method which gets called whenever there is a change in these values of humidity pressure and temperature in the weather data object and changes in the weather data need to be broadcasted to a set of display objects for example current condition display there is another statistics display and then there is a forecast display and in future there may be more displays as well so we need to have the flexibility of adding and removing displays on the go as well so what we'll do we'll make our weather data implement the subject interface so it will get the subject methods which are register observer remove observer and notify observers and we'll also make all our display elements implement the observer interface so they will also get the corresponding update method from the observer interface so this is the code for the weather data object which implements the subject interface and you can see that apart from the temperature humidity and pressure property it has a additional property which an which is an array list of observers so we have the constructor of the weather data object in which we are initializing this array list with an empty array list then we can see that we have the register observers method it simply adds the observer object o into the observers list which we have initialized in the constructor 
Similarly, we have the remove observer method, which first finds out at which index our this present uh, the past observer object is living in the array list and then you know it is removed from that location of the array list so basically it removes the sent observer from the array list observers which contain a list of observers and similarly we have the notify observers method which iterates over the observers list and calls the update method passing it the temperature humidity and pressure one by one so for every observer it calls the update methods and uh, the measurement chain method is called externally whenever the measurements or the values of temperature humidity and pressure are changed so we call our notify observers method inside so if you try to see one of the observers now for example the current condition display it has temperature humidity and pressure properties and it also holds a reference to the subject object so whenever we create an object of this current condition display in the constructor we have to pass the subject object as well and then this subject object is initialized and after initialization we register our current object to this subject object by calling the register observer method of the subject object and we add our current condition display object into the list of observers for the subject to which it is holding a reference and which was passed to the constructor and then we have the update method which the subject will call whenever you know there is a modification in the value of temperature humidity or pressure so it will call the update value and it will pass the updated values to the update method so that it can be updated to the display element and then you know we can we can you know whatever we want to do with these updated values we can do for example this particular observer is printing them using the display method so different types of display method can display this information differently based on type and uh, the only thing common with all the observers and all the display methods will be that their update method will be called every time there is a change in the temperature humidity or pressure values of the subject object and what do what they do with this updated value is up to them but they will always get notified so if we try to simulate our weather station now we create a weather data object and then we create three observers which are you know current condition display statistic display forecast display and when creating all these three observers we pass our subject object which is the weather data to them as part of their constructor so that you know they can properly register themselves as observers to this weather data object and after doing that if we do a modification to the weather data if we set some sub if we update some temperature pressure and humidity values and call the measurement chain method we will see that all the observers get notified which means their update method gets called and after that whatever mechanism they have inbuilt for displaying the values gets called as well so that's all for this video friends i hope you would have understood the use and implementation of the observer pattern if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also click the bell icon for notifications and subscribe to our channel for more such videos